Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to look and see how we apply these ideas of a hypothesis test for P. Okay, so let's look at an example here. So we've got data from a hospital. I think it was actually from a, a, a chain of hospitals. And we've got we want to go through, use this data out of about 25,000 and a half kids, 13,000 were boys. All right, so we want to go through an entire hypothesis test at our basic significance level, alpha equal to 0.05, to see is this data actually saying that, at least in this population, that boys are more common. Okay, so of course for our hypothesis test, the first step is going to be we got to state our hypotheses. So let's try to just figure out what our claim was. Right? And we're trying to show that the proportion of boys is actually greater than the proportion of girls. In order to show that, right, I have to assume from the beginning that they're equal. In other words, p naught or the proportion of boys to the proportion of girls is 0.5. My alternative is that the proportion of boys is greater than. 0.5. Right, so again, I start by saying they're 50 50 in order to show what my hypothesis is thinking that boys are actually more likely. This is a right tailed test. Right, and we'll just go with our, our normal significance level, alpha 0.05. So, next step, calculate my test statistic. Right, we got to figure out okay, can I use a z test statistic? Technically, we should check do our conditions hold? Right, so p hat 0.51. If you remember our n, it's really, really big, 25,000. So about half of that, one minus this. Yeah, we're, we should check out here. All right, so we can use central limit theorem holds. We can use our z, calculator, z test statistic. And here we go, a really, really large test statistic. Okay, so remember this is a right tail test for a very large positive test statistic. Okay, so we should know what that's probably going to tell us. So our next step is to make our decision. And I'm actually not going to do the critical value method here. I think we're ready to just kind of jump straight to the p-value method. Okay, so our alternative, it's right-tailed. So my p-value is the area to the right of my test statistic. And we could look this up in the table, but we know the area to the right of such a large test statistic, it's going to be essentially zero. Okay, but in order to find this exact p-value, we could do that use some kind of technology, it's actually 0.02 something. It's really, really small compared to alpha, right? We know we're gonna reject. Now graphing this, we can't even see that area show up on on this normal calculator. Okay, so so really, really small area somewhere out here. Right. Now just looking at the table, again it was the area to the right of point 5, 4, 9. The table that I have only goes up to 5. Remember the table gives you the area to the left. Right? The table that I have only goes up to 5. So since the table gives you the area to the left, it's one minus, it's smaller than 1 minus 0.999. It's, it's, it's something really, really small. Okay. Now I want to show you guys how to do one of these hypothesis tests in Minitab. Um, if I go here to stat, basic statistics, basic statistics. Now you could do one sample Z and kind of adapt your information to that, but you also have this one proportion option here. Okay, so we don't have the data actually in our columns. We have summarized data. Right, our number of events in, well, let's start with number of trials. N was 25,468. Number of events, it was 13,173. We want to do a hypothesis test. Our hypothesized proportion was 0.5. Right, now remember the default options, it's going to give you here a two-tailed test by default. Right, but we want actually a right-tailed test. Okay, method, that's fine. Confidence level, 95%. Alpha was 0.05, so, so we're in good shape. That doesn't really matter for our hypothesis test. All right, so this should give us all of those. So it gave us p hat here that we saw earlier. Um, it's giving us here your confidence interval bound. We don't we don't really need that right now, but 
it gives us our p-value, and that's that's what we're really interested in for our hypothesis test. All right, so putting all that together, let's draw our conclusion. We rejected the null hypothesis. We actually did find statistically significant evidence here. So just in this case, right, that's saying that boys actually were more likely than girls. Okay, so something something kind of interesting here. All right, so thanks for tuning in, taking the time. We'll see you.